uh, many thanks to Godfrey Tanam for that report. Um, this morning on the chamber, we are looking at the issue of the law and maternity leave. And, um, of course, we all know about the annual leave, um, which everybody is very conversant with. But there are other forms of leave, and maternity leave is one of them. This morning, my guest in the studio is Osei to Dixon. He's a senior corporate lawyer, and he shed some more light um, on maternity leave. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, How Sandra. are you doing? I'm fine. It's good to have you here. A wonderful seeing you here. Okay. And good morning to your viewers. Right. Mm. Now, um, <coughs> who is eligible for maternity leave? Well, the law specifies that a pregnant mother or an expectant mother who has been certified by um, a practice a physician as being um, expectant could put in an application for wherever she is, I mean, to her workplace, and then be able to seek um, that leave. Yes. Right, so you have to have something to show that you're you pregnant. Need... It's not enough to just walk into your... Uh, employers office and say I'm pregnant oh, or to even show that your belly is big. <clears throat> not at all, not at all. I mean, you do need a certificate. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, the physician is supposed to specify mm -hmm. the uh, period of your confinement. Right. And also maybe probably your delivery so that you can be able to plan that period. Okay. Um, when does the maternity leave start? Is it the, the minute you find out you're pregnant or there's a specific time, maybe two or three months down the line or exactly when? Can you put in an application for maternity leave? Normally, all these things are helped to decide with the assistance of the doctors. I mean, they are the guys who are looking after you. So they can specify. I mean, your footage, a lot of people were talking about the difficulties that pregnancy imposes upon them. So they need a doctor to be able to tell them that you are going to give birth around this time. Your confinement will be around this time. So this is an appropriate period to do so. I mean, that's from a medical perspective. Okay. How, uh, what is the duration of maternity leave? How long can you be absent from work or from your office for? Well, that's a very good question. If you look at the nature of our law, it's a minimum of 12 months. I'm emphasis on a minimum. 12 months? Sorry, 12 weeks, I'm sorry. 12 weeks. I'm sorry, it can't be 12 months. <laughs> 12 weeks. A minimum of 12 weeks, which adds up to about 90 days. So that about is a three minimum. months? A three months, yes, period. That's the minimum, so you, it can be extended? It depends on the organization. I mean, some organizations even do consider, uh, what do you call it, periods in excess of that. But then I should add that that is a minimum that the law provides. Mm. If there are complications embedded within the process, I mean, complications like, or maybe even the addition of one or two children, other than one to be expected. What do you mean addition of one? Or maybe you have okay, you, multiple Okay, you find out that you're, you're carrying twins two. or triplets. Exactly. You find out, I mean, that that is a situation. Then that would in order to your benefit and you will be eligible for a minimum of two weeks or more right mm. how soon after delivery do you have to report back to work normally um, that should be after the period of the maternity leave the duration right. after that period so that's 90 days or that's um, 84 that is a leave you've been granted right but i mean if there are extenuating circumstances that require that you it actually extended. it should be extended why not you should okay. put in an so then i'm guessing that your maternity leave should be in the, the last quarter of your pregnancy that's for, when you take it well advisedly i mean for what i've seen um it happens to be that case that's a situation, I mean. Because People, then it would mean that if you take it in the middle somewhere, you have to come back to work, and then when course. it's time to give birth, you have to go off again. Of course. So ideally, it would have to be around the last, last trimester. Um, uh, trimester, yes, absolutely. Most doctors would recommend is that period, anyway. How, how many times can a, a woman uh, apply for maternity leave? Uh, well. Is it as often as she gets pregnant, <laughs> or there's a limitation? I should say that there is no um, specific capped number on a number of times. So if a woman gets pregnant every year, she, if you she, do can, get pregnant she can every apply year, for maternity leave. You, you can, you can. The point is that, I mean, um, basically, if the law were to actually put on a number, then that would be, I mean, directly providing some kind of limitations on birth, birth control indirectly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the law doesn't provide a cap on it. Okay. Now, are you still, or will uh, uh, a lady still receive um, full pay if she's on maternity leave? Oh, there, there's maternity protection convention by ILO. And there is also in our law, I'm talking about the Labor Act at five, 651, clear specification that you cannot vary the, you cannot vary um, or take away uh, remuneration and other benefits. Not only remuneration, mind you, right. other benefits. Yes. So for the entire period that she's pregnant, she still receives her, her full salary? Oh, she will. She has to. Okay. That's by law. Okay. And what, what if you have, um, like we mentioned earlier, there are some complications during the, the pregnancy and you still have to 
take off some time. Will your boss or your employer be right in laying you off or dismissing you for missing too much work? That will be counter to the law. Our law does not permit um, a dismissal, a termination, based on factors that are incidental to the pregnancy. Even if so you have to cannot... stay home for about a month, two or three after... But this will be certified by a medical practitioner. Because, law, because maternity is, uh, let's get it in perspective, maternity per, particularly mm. is a protected status, like your footage said, mm. the ILO Convention 103, ILO Convention 183, protected. And Ghana is a signatory to 103. So there's no way that you can sit here and then do a private variation. You will be amending the law if you do so. Okay, so basically uh, an employer is prohibited from um, dismissing a woman because of her absence Glossy. due to maternity. It's a serious maternity. issue. It's a serious issue to do that. But it does happen, It does happen, it? yes. So and that is the reason why, at, even at the international level, these conventions have to be drummed up. The conventions that our country is signatory to should be drummed up. In fact, you guys are in the media. You have to do a lot of work on that issue. As lawyers, we do a lot of advocacy on it. But it's something that is rife. In Ashanti region, I'm told that um, a number of female teachers, for instance, were nearly terminated or were on the brink of being terminated. I mean, that's entirely... For going on for maternity leave? Be, for, for being on maternity leave and for asking for extension. But they were not asking for it. They were the conditions. The conditions necessi necessitated it, yes. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Mm. So, um... Well, let's talk about breastfeeding or, or nursing mothers. Mm. Are they allowed or are they given some time of during uh, working hours to, to nurse their babies? There is uh, a time specified period within the law. It says a minimum of an hour. In some organizations that I know, it can even be more. If you look, for instance, at the conditions of service applicable to workers who are with the local government authority or local government staff, I mean, this could be up to about like three, four hours. Okay, so during working hours, you can take an hour off to go and uh, yeah. breastfeed or to nurse your baby you can. and come back. You can, and that the law counts it at work. It's right. part of the computation of working period for you because it's still a protected period. Right. Yes. And what about overtime? Can uh, your boss kind of uh, make you do overtime when you are pregnant or you've just you know, <laughs> delivered your baby. Is, is that right? It's, is that permissible? Well, uh, the law does not permit it. I mean, and there are two things I have to say about that one. One is that you should bear in mind that doing overtime imposes not only physical strain on the, uh, the mother, it also imposes additional strain on the child. So the law is very emphatic about it, okay. unless with her consent. Okay. What about um, tedious or maybe um, hard work during pregnancy? Is that allowed? Well, well, I mean, if you, if, you, if, you, if you glean from what I just said, I mean, then you would realize that you would have to. It's a period of accommodation. I mean, the employer must understand that the period implicates some level of accommodation. Now, let me add one thing, though. Where the, the, the mother has a child who is um, below eight months, then the issue of even talking about uh, extra work or overtime, as you call it, is not going to even be, uh, I mean, it's not even come it can't, up. can't even come up, yes. Right. What about the right to return to your position after delivery? It's also protected. Mm. That's the good news for you. It's protected. So you can actually be absorbed back into the same position right. or you can be put into an equivalent position. There should be no diminution in terms of remuneration. If you do that, I think it will bother unemployment discrimination. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just uh, finally to wrap up, okay. um, maternity leave is a right, not a privilege. There's no Your privilege. boss is not doing you a favor by uh, granting you maternity leave. They're not granting you right. any privilege. I mean, it is a right, a vested, a vested right guaranteed to the women, the pregnant women of Ghana. You it's cannot be to... sacked for asking for maternity leave. You, be, you have the right to ask for an extension if your condition necessitates it. Mm -hmm. And you're also entitled to full pay during the duration that you're on maternity leave. Absolutely. You're correct.